Chris Evans is best known as Captain America, but did you know he started out as a model for a board game? Really makes you think about who the f is Chris Evans. I'm Chris Evans, I'm an actor. His first credited role was Biodiversity, Wild About Life. Chris actually had his braces removed for the part, but he didn't hit pop culture until he modeled for Mystery Date, a board game that was reissued in the early 2000s with Chris's face all over it. The gig was short and sweet, and it started him down a path of being a failed teen heartthrob. His first taste of the mainstream was in the short-lived show Opposite Sex. Come on, ladies, gather around. Daddy's got a petition to sign. Sadly, it only lasted one season, but seeing Chris Evans alongside This Is Us star and certifiable 2000s teen heartthrob Milo Bentecamelia is totally worth it. His feature film debut was in the cult classic parody Not Another Teen Movie. Fun fact, Chris Evans actually got a hard on during that scene with Mia Kirshner. Catherine, that's disgusting. The raunchy comedy finally put him on the map, leading to a starring role in The Perfect Score. This could have easily been just another blip on his IMDb page, but it's actually the first time we see Scarlett Johansson and Chris Evans on screen together. It ignited their decade-plus bromance that would lead to them co-starring in other movies like The Nanny Diaries of 2007 and assembling again in the MCU. But before we get to Captain America, we should tackle Chris Evans' stint as a budding action star. What if it's like some higher calling? A higher calling, like getting girls and making money? Is there any higher? Push was met with lukewarm reviews, but features a lot of great action work from the actor. Scott Pilgrim really blew it out of the water with a rave reception, and he was playing an actual action star. Ironically enough, the fight scene with Lucas Lee featured Chris's real stunt doubles. I'm nothing without my stunt team. Which brings us to the MCU, which Chris finally joined in 2011's Captain America The First Avenger. This wasn't a sure thing though since Chris turned down the role three times. But he was Marvel's first pick for the role, so they sent in the big guns to recruit him, Robert Downey Jr. Maybe the thing you're most scared of is exactly what you should do. Maybe this is actually what you should push yourself into. After that, most of his work has been the MCU, with some notable exceptions like the Iceman, where Evans is unrecognizable as a hitman. Christ! Are you fucking nuts? And there's also Snowpiercer, which received critical acclaim and is arguably one of his best movies. You know what I hate about myself? I know what people taste like. It really showed Chris's ability to be a serious leading man in a role vastly different from the MCU. But the real gem was Before You Go, because not only does Chris star as lead alongside Alice Eve, but it was also his directorial debut. My goal wasn't to, to set the world on fire and win Oscars my first time out of the gate. I just wanted to get my feet wet and get comfortable. This patriot obsessed kid has gone from a wannabe teen heartthrob to a budding action star to iconic superhero. And he has a lot more to show us. Whether it's in front of the camera or behind it, we know he's making some serious Hollywood history.